So Yellow Mountain Cross Country. So um, here's the format. So you've got two days of racing. Uh, you've got about 240 kilometers uh, each day. Could take you anywhere between three to five hours. Um, and they alternate as well. So uh, some years they start from Tottenham to Condoblin, and then the other year they do, um, they start the opposite way around. So it's a destination race. You start at one point, finish at the other, stay over there overnight, and then stay at one spot, and then uh, come back the next day. Um, it's made up of uh, open sections and faster stuff, and then also like some more technical and rocky stuff as well. And so what I wanna go through is a little bit of um, how to tackle the nutrition side for the racing weekend um, and what we recommend for our riders and racers. Um, for those of you that are new to the channel, uh, my name's Andrew Hammer. Um, struggled with riding and racing fitness for about 14 seasons of racing. Um, so hopefully you get this video in time before the weekend and you can use it to um, enjoy racing weekend a little bit more. So there's a few different things and what I'm gonna do is just run you through um, the plan for what to do from Friday night all the way up to Sunday night to make sure you have a good race. So first thing you wanna start with is, is Friday night. Um, and Friday night's really important is because this is where we wanna get plenty of carbohydrates in. We want our um, glycogen store, so our muscles to be full of energy that we're gonna be using over the next two days. Um, it's very hard to be able to get a super high level of energy in while you're actually riding and racing. So what we do beforehand or the night before is really important. So on the Friday night, have your normal meal, have some meat, okay, have some salad, um, but make sure you get some complex carbs in. So complex carbs are things like sweet potato, potato, brown rice, quinoa. Um, easy ones, just mashed potato, okay? You can go to um, Coles or Woolworths and buy the steam fresh bags of mashed potato and you can put them in the microwave or heat them up or whatever facilities you've got there um, and have that with your normal food. Once you've done that and you have that at night time on the Friday night, once we get to Saturday morning, um, then we wanna be getting in a good quality source of meat or protein um, and also some complex carbs as well. So you could have like a piece of meat and you could have some bacon and then you could have some mashed potato again, that's one option. Um, another option that you can have, which I've tried recently, um, is protein oats. So you can buy protein oats from bulk nutrients and you can just put two scoops of um, uh, oats into a bowl and you just mix it up with um, a little bit of hot water and away you go. And that's gonna have protein and complex carbs in there um, ready to go for race day. Main thing with that breakfast though, is you wanna make sure you're having it about three to four hours before you start the race, okay? So if you're having this breakfast too close to the race, you're gonna feel like shit because it's just gonna sit here. Um, complex carbs take a while to digest and break down and uses energy. So if you're getting them in way too close to the race, okay, like an hour before, they're just gonna sit here and you're not gonna feel very good when you ride and it's gonna ruin most of your ride. So make sure you do that three to four hours beforehand. Um, then roughly half an hour before you're about to go on race, um, you want to get in some simple carbs. So simple carbs are just sugars. So you could have a carb gel, you could have half a bottle of Powerade, you could have a couple of pieces of fruit. You could have a carbohydrate drink. Okay, Any of those you can have roughly half an hour before you go on race. Um, and they're really easy to digest. Okay, Sugars are really easy for your body to digest and break down, so they're not going to sit here and we're not having super large quantities either. Once we've done that, then it's into racing. So you've got two, if I remember correctly, there's two fuel stops you've got over the three to five hours. Um, I've got two fuel stops written down here, so I'm pretty sure it's two. Um, so when you're at those fuel stops, the main thing you wanna do is replace carbohydrates, okay? So your carbohydrates are your fuel source, and we've got that at 100% at the start of the race. Now, as you're going through the race, you're burning through those carbs, okay? So you're burning through your energy source. And so the last thing we want to do is hit the wall and run out of carbs. So we want to keep them topped up. So the way that you can do that is at each fuel stop is have a carb gel or two. So for every hour of riding and racing you do, you want to have roughly 40 grams of uh, simple carbs. Okay, so 40 grams of, um, it could be a carb gel, it could be through Powerade, uh, it could be through a carbohydrate drink. Um, my recommendation for this specific race um, is you can use a carb gel. Okay, get them either Put them in your pack and have them when you're getting fuel or strap them to your fuel drum, one or the other. Because um, you're only doing two fuel stops, you may need to have two carb gels at each stop. So some carb gels have 20 grams of carbs and some have 40 grams of carbs in one pouch. If you've got a 40 gram pouch, then you can probably just have one of those at each fuel stop. Um, or uh, if you've got the 20 gram ones, then you might need to be able to get two in at each stop. So that's how to do the fuel. Once we've done that and you finish the race, First thing you wanna do once you finish the race is we need to start the recovery process for Sunday. Um, this is not the time for, well, it depends on how you how well you wanna do with the event, but if you wanna do well on day two, it's not the time for partying and relaxing and having a good time on Saturday night because 
you need to start the recovery process and start getting ready for Sunday. So how do you do that? As soon as you finish your race is get in a protein shake, preferably whey protein. And what this is gonna do is give your body the nutrients it needs to start rebuilding itself. So protein is the building block for our muscle. And when you've been riding for so long, you're breaking down muscle, okay? So what we wanna do is give it the building blocks to help it rebuild and repair itself so that we're ready to go for the next day on Sunday. So first thing is protein shake. Once we've done that and your body's settled down and you're not as, your body's not as stressed and wound up and it starts to relax and you get your appetite back, then we wanna have a really solid um, dinner, okay? So again, protein, veggies, um, and then again, complex carbs like we did on Friday night. Sweet potato, potato, brown rice, quinoa, okay? Easy one again is get mashed potato, okay? Get them in a little steam fresh bags and away you go. Good quality sleep on Saturday night, and then we wanna repeat this same process that we used for Sunday. So we get up Sunday morning, okay? We have our um, either protein oats or we can have um, our meat with some mashed potato again, three to four hours before we race. Half an hour before you race, you wanna have your carb gel with either you can have a carb gel, you can have half a bottle of Powerade, a couple of pieces of fruit, carb drink, whatever it is that you use. Um, then we want to do the same same thing when we go on race, okay, when we do the fuel stops. We want to make sure we're getting in roughly 40 grams of carbs for every hour of riding. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to depend on how many carbs you're burning through and also how much you can tolerate. So getting 40 grams of carbs in at a fuel stop, uh, might be easy enough for you. Maybe you can get in a little bit more and have a, a 40 gram carb gel and a 20 gram carb gel. Or maybe you find that taking in that much carbs and that much sugar is just too much for you. So um, although this is my recommendation for the weekend, you really want to be testing this stuff out um, beforehand to see how you feel. Once you've done your couple of fuel stops and you've got your carbs in, um, then again, you want to start the recovery process at the end of Sunday. Now, at the end of a race, mate, recovery is not usually the... Um, the number one thing that you're thinking about because you're going, uh, thank God that's over and probably having a beer or you know having fun with your mates, which is fair enough. Um, but if you want to start the recovery process so that you can get back into training and, um, and be ready to rock and roll for Monday or maybe even Tuesday, um, then again, get protein shaking, get a good quality uh, meal in at night time, get plenty of complex carbs in so you can start getting ready for the next race.